Hey guys, uh, today I'm actually going to just give you a quick update on something I discovered. Um, this is an update on the Moog um, interface interconnect video I posted last week. And uh, one of my friends sent me the uh, owner's manual to the Moog source. And if you recall, on my last video I was talking about how the Moog source did not have the uh, scale knob, which makes the open interface not really work that well. Well, in the manual, it clearly says in the owner's manual, not the service manual, not the there's no you know schematics of any sorts to fix this issue, but in the owner's manual, it calls out that you can add a 10k linear uh, pot between your CV output and your CV input, and that fixes your your uh, scaling. That that allows you to to set your scaling. Well, I had a uh, 10k linear pot laying around. So as you can see, I've just kind of wired it up. Now, keep in mind, there is no S-Trig coming from my beat-up Moog source. I've actually got his other uh, Mac. I've got your source boxed up now. Um, I'm using mine. But what I've done here is I'm, I'm just going to put this thing in bypass mode, and I'm going to play it so you can kind of hear it. Now, keep in mind, mine's not fully calibrated or anything, because this is really just a piece of junk I pulled out of my parts pile. And I've got it working, so it's it, some of the interface buttons don't work. So just keep that in mind. Tracking's not exactly correct on this one, uh, but as you can hear, it it does actually track fairly well. And there's some you know little noise from these cables because as you can see, I'm just using gator clips, so it is not exactly accurate. But as you can hear. When you work on Moogs, this is some of the things you deal with, and that's just because this one's a piece of junk. Um, I've got to make a new interface panel because it randomly jumps. It's got a, a problem back here in the ribbons that come out, which is something else I need to bring up about the Moog source. Uh, this one here is, as you can see, I call it the dog. I actually named it because it's been sitting around my house for about four years, and it's just a piece of junk. Uh, literally, it's just a parts unit I, I pulled up, and I, I semi got it to work. But uh, anyways, guys, I was, was going to show you that, but it keeps changing presets on me. So anytime I change anything over here, it changes, but sometimes it'll, it'll inadvertently jump back to another preset. We'll try this again, though. Maybe this will work. Let me just cut off oscillator, too, because it's out of tune. Get that filter opened up. Yeah. 
that's how that works. That's just a little update for you um, on how this is actually supposed to work. But of course, that's using a really sick Moog that's evidently got some serious problems, which I knew it did, but I'm trying to use it for a demo here. But so yeah, anyways guys, back to the whole thing here, is if you're using a Moog source with a, another a older Moog, and because the Moog source does not have any scaling or ranging uh, calibration adjustments externally, like the memory Moog, all these other synths, this is a way you can do it. It's a 10K linear, is what you'll need, 10K linear potentiometer. Now you don't probably need one really this beefy, this is, this is a pretty beefy pot, and actually this is one I found in uh, some of uh, some really uh, cherished stuff I got from uh, Kevin Leitner. Uh, this one has his pots that came out of his collection. Uh, but it's actually a weird pot. It's actually like a, a, a switch plus a pot. So it's, you pull out on the shaft, pull in on the shaft, and you got a switch on one branch of it. Kind of interesting. Uh, but anyways guys, enough talking here, but that's how you do it. That's how you can interface a Moog source as a, as a master and slave the micro Moog. So I just thought I'd give you a quick update on this procedure here because this is something I didn't know about until I read the owner's manual, which is kind of strange that the service manual didn't mention that. But uh, anyways guys, take care and I hope this video helps you.